Hello. <coughs> okay. Uh, this is a set from CAT 2017 LRDI uh, question paper. Okay. Uh, before I start, uh, if you have any comments or feedback on our videos, please do let us know on our WhatsApp number. We are available at 9146064750. Now, this is a set which was a very tricky. Okay, this is a pretty uh, difficult looking set. It's, it's difficult because it's pretty painful. I mean, there is not a lot of data there and a lot of multiple cases are actually there for the particular set. Let's see what the questions look like. Simple happiness index of a country is computed on the basis of three parameters. Social support, freedom of life choices and corruption perception. So S, F and C. Each of these three parameters are measured on the scale of 0 to 8 integers only. Again, integer value. So you cannot take 0.5 or 3.8, something like that. A country is then categorized on the basis of total score obtained by summing the scores of all three parameters. So whatever is your score in S, whatever is your score in F, whatever is your score in C, you add these three, you get a total score. Okay, the total score will be out of 24 because that's a maximum. Okay, and based on the total score, these are the these are your happiness index. Okay, the following diagram depicts the frequency distribution of scores S, F, and C in 10 countries. These are 10 countries A, B, C, D, E, V, W, X, Y, Z. A to, S, A to E and V to Z. Okay, now this is the frequency distribution. This is not the scores of each country. So the way to read this is, okay, in S, okay, in S, there are three countries who got three, three countries who got four, two countries who got five, one country got six and one country got seven. So total of six plus two, eight, eight plus two, ten. So these are the ten countries. One of them, three of them got three, three of them got four, two of them got five, one of them got six, one of them got seven. Okay. <clears throat> and then you have some further information. So I've tabulated this in a table so that I can work out these numbers easily. Okay, so some of the scores is S, F, and C, and this is your gradation. Okay, now A and C have the lowest score of seven each, and identical in each. They are identical in each parameter. So whatever is the score of A in S, the same will be the score of C in S. Whatever is the score of A in F, same will be the score of C in F. Whatever is the score of a in C, C will also have the same score in C and the total is 7 for both these. Okay, that is 1. Z has a score of 17. The country named Z has a score of 17. Okay, and the last one, all three countries which are categorized as happy have a highest score in exactly one parameter. Okay, now let's see what are the scores possible. Okay. Can you get a 24? There are no eight, three eights are not available. The maximum possible score is seven plus seven plus one. That's 14 plus six, 20, right? That is the maximum possible score and only one country can get it. But so only one country can be very happy. Is it possible? This statement says that anyone who's considered happy, which is people who are in 14 from 19, they have highest score in exactly one parameter. So there are three countries who are in the happy category. And each of them have highest score in one parameter. So one of them will get this one, one of them will take this one, and one of them will take the six here. So even 20 is not possible because to get 20, you need to score seven, seven, and six. That is how you get 20. But 20 is not possible because all three, all these three scores are for different countries. They are not the same country. A same country cannot score highest in all the three categories. So there is no country which is happy. And there are three countries which are, uh, there's no country which is very happy. And there are three countries which are in happy. Okay. So there are three countries which are in happy. <coughs> so they will score between 14 and 19. And one of the three countries got this score. One of the three countries got this score. One of the three countries got this score. Okay. Now, if you go back, it says Z has a score of 17. Let's see how Z can get a score of 17. If you want 17, how we can get 17. Okay. <clears throat> 
Now, to score a 17 from the given choices, you can have 7 and 10. 6, 4, probably possible. You can have 7, 7, but you cannot score 7 in 2 of them. 7, 5, 5. Can you score 7, 5, 5? Let's see if you can score 7, 5, 5. Now, if you score a 7 here, you cannot score 5 in these two again because you cannot score 7 and 5 in the same parameter. So, 7, 5, 5 is not possible. Okay, uh, let's try with 6 as the highest score. 6, 6, 5. Is 6, 6, 5 possible? You score a 6 here, you can score a 6 here, and you can score a 5 here. This is possible, right? Okay, so 7, 6, 4 and 6, 6, 5 are the only two only two parts here. 7, 6, 4 and 6, 6, 5 are the only way to, for Z to score 17. Okay. Now, you need to find the score of Z in S. In S, what will be the score? Now, if you score a, if you are scoring 17 using 7, 6, 4, if you score a 7 here, you cannot take this 6 because these two have to be two different countries. That's what we s discussed here these two have to be two different countries. So you cannot take this six. If you have to take a six, you have to take this six for sure. So Z will take this six for sure, right? Which is an S. So score of Z in S is six. That part is done. Okay, the first one says, what is AMDA score in F? Now we know AMDA, which is A. A and C have the same lowest score of seven and they have same scores across all of them. So, AMDA score in F. Okay, let's see how we can score a 7. There is no 0 available. So, you can score 4, 2, 1, 5, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, or 3, 2, 2. These are the ways you can score a 7. Now, <clears throat> can, you sc can both the countries score 1 in 2 segments? Total scores available for one is only three scores. There are only three scores of one available. Even if you score two ones here, you cannot score two ones in C. So five one one is not possible. Okay. Can you score a four two one? Yeah, you can have two scores of four, two scores of two, and two scores of one. This is possible. Can you score a three three one? Two scores of three, two scores of three, and two scores of one. So this is also possible. Can you score a three, two, two? So two scores of three and one score of, and two scores, oh sorry, one score of three and two scores of two. Now this is not available because only in C you can score two twos, but in F and S you cannot score two twos. So this is also not possible. So the only way to score seven is either four, two, one, you score, f both of them score four in one section, both of them score two in one th a second section, and both of them score one in the third section, or three, three, one. Both of them score three in two different sections, or uh, in two sections, okay, and one in the third section, okay? So you're scoring one definitely, and the only place you can score one twice is F, which is what is asked. So AMDA score in F has to be one, okay? So you could use the data here and actually solve these two questions, okay? Let's go to the next one. Okay, question number three says, B and D are two countries categorized as happy and they are tied with the same score. What is the maximum score they can have? What is the maximum score they can have? There are two countries which are categorized as happy. What is the maximum score they can have? Now, we know Z already has 17 and for Z, we saw it can be either 764 or 665. So Z has 17. It can score a 764 or 665. And we know this 6 is out. For sure. Right? Now, because 764 and 665 are out, nobody can score a 617 again. Alright? Nobody can score a 17 again. Okay, let's see if you can score a 16. Okay, can both of them score a 16? For both of them to score a 16, okay, that will be 6, 6, 4, or 6, 5, 5, or 7, 6, 3. Now, one of the 6 is gone. One of the 6 is gone. And all of them uses 
a six. At most, you have only one six available. You cannot reach a score of sixteen because both of them will need to use at least one of the two sixes. So sixteen is also not possible. Let's see, can both of them use fifteen? Okay. Uh, let's try to do this in a slightly different manner. Okay. So if I have a seven six four, okay. Okay. Let's try to use six six five. So Z takes this six. Z takes this six, and one of these. Fives. So there are two fives available here. There are two fives available here. There are two seven. There is a seven each available here. Okay. Can you reach a fifteen? Okay. Let's assume both of them take a seven. Okay. If this guy takes a seven here, the other country can. Uh, it can take a five here. If it takes a seven here, it can take a five here. So both of them have a seven each. Both of them have a five each. We need to make sure both of them have the same total. Can both of them take a four? Now, whichever place you take a seven, the other place will take a five. There is no place available for four. So one of these two will definitely be used up by both of them. So if you take seven and five, seven and five, you cannot use this four. You have to go back to three. Both of them can use up a three. They suppose one of them takes this five and this seven, and takes four here. This, this, and this four. This is possible, right? Because you cannot score two different. You cannot have two different scores in the same category, right? So if you take this seven, you cannot take this five. You'll have to take this five, right? That's why you cannot take these fours. You'll have to go and settle for three. So the highest possible values that both of them can take are seven, six, and five. Five and three is eight. Eight plus seven is fifteen. So maximum both of them can together reach is fifteen. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's look at the last one. It says if Benga scored sixteen, Delma scored fifteen. What is the maximum number of countries the score of thirteen? Now we know. Benga has scored sixteen, A has scored seven, C has scored seven, Delma has scored fifteen, and Z has scored seventeen. Right? You need to find how many different countries can have a score of thirteen. Okay. Let's see what are the total scores available. Now, with one, there are three ratings of one available. So, total value of this these scores will be three, three into one, three. In twos, there are four ratings of two available. So total value of these ratings will be four into two, eight. In three, there are three plus two, five plus four, nine ratings of four, three available. Nine threes are twenty-seven is available. Twenty-seven will be the total score of all those ratings. In four, you have five, five into four, twenty values available. Twenty is the score available. In fives, you have five into five, twenty-five available. In six, you have two into six, twelve available. In seven. Two into seven, fourteen available. So let's see what is the total score of all the com con countries combined. It will be eleven. Eleven uh, plus twenty-seven is thirty-eight. Thirty-eight plus twenty is fifty-eight. Fifty-eight plus twenty-five is eighty-three. Eighty-three plus eighty-three plus twelve is ninety-five. Ninety-five plus <coughs> ninety-five plus uh, fourteen is hundred and ninety-five plus fourteen is hundred and nine. So this total is hundred and nine. Okay, let's see what are the scores which have already been used. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Seventeen and sixteen is thirty-three. Thirty-three plus fifteen. Thirty-three plus fifteen will be forty-eight. Forty-eight plus fourteen is sixty-two. So balance will be balance will be forty-seven. Right now, this forty-seven has to be given among the remaining five countries. Two, three, four, five. So on an average of nine. This is possible, right? Right. So there is possible that it will have zero, but we need maximum values. How many countries can score a thirteen? Now let's assume if one country scores thirteen. The remaining thirty-four has to be divided among four four countries. This will reach eight point five. Still possible. If I have this is also possible. Can I have two countries scoring thirteen? If I have two countries scoring thirteen, you'll have thirty-four minus thirteen, which is 
21 has to be given to the remaining three countries, which means an average of seven. Now, you cannot go below seven because A and C have the lowest score, right? And all of them cannot have seven because there are not enough. If you look at the previous ones, they will use up these ones and with there are not enough threes and twos available to score there are not enough threes and twos available to score enough sevens okay you are going to four three and there are no zeros there so there are not enough there are not enough scores of one two and three to reach up a seven so you cannot have all three of them all three of the remaining countries scoring seven each because these two have the lowest and seven you cannot go below seven and you do not have enough numbers to reach seven for three different countries. So you cannot have more than one country scoring a 13. Okay, because the moment you reach two countries scoring a 13, there are not enough values available to reach the lowest score. So the correct answer will be two, option two, which is one country at most can score a 13. Okay, so this is a numbers based optimization set. A uh, lot of these types have been discussed in our course. Okay, so uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any comments on or feedback on this, please do let us know. Uh, <coughs> till we meet again the next time. Goodbye and all the best.